Hi everyone, let's solve question number 32. Consider the function f r to r defined by f x equals to maximum of x comma x square minus minimum of x comma x square, then f is differentiable at. So these kind of questions are generally solved by uh, graph plotting or by making them piecewise functions. So let's do both of them. So let's name this function as, so let's say max of x comma x square equals to hx and min of x comma x square equals to gx. So let's try to solve the first one, maximum of x comma x square. So this is our These are the two functions. This is x square and this is x y equals to x, right? If I want to find out the maximum of x comma x square, I have three critical points, two, sorry, two critical points. One is this one and one is this one. How to find both of them? x equals to x square. Basically, both of the functions are cutting over here. So x equals to x square, we'll be getting x equals to zero and x equals to one from here. So this is zero and this would be one. Now from minus infinity to x equals to zero, we can clearly see that x square is having the maximum value as compared to y equals to x, right? So I'll write this as hx, x less than equals to zero. In such a case, we are having x square, right? And for x less than one, less than equals to one and greater than zero, we'll be getting from here to here, we can clearly see that y equals to x is having the maximum value. So x and over here from x, greater than one and less than infinity. So basically till infinity. So we'll be getting y equals to x square again as the maximum value. So we have plotted the graph and we have made a piecewise function for this given maximum of x comma x square. Similarly, if I try to do it for the minimum function that is hx, sorry, that for gx, I'll be getting x less than equals to zero and this one, right? And for the minimum function, we'll be getting this one is minimum function. For that, we'll be getting x. For this range from minus infinity to zero, we'll be getting x because this one is below x square. So this one is the minimum. And from here to x equals to one, we'll be getting x square is the minimum because it's below y equals to x. That would be x square. And again, from x equals to one to x equals to infinity, we'll be getting x only, right? Now we have to find out fx, that is hx minus gx. So let's write piecewise function of fx. That would be x square minus x, x minus x square, and x square minus x, for x less than equals to zero, x this and this, right? So this is the piecewise function of fx. Now, if you're going to find out the derivative of this function, that would be f dash x. That would become 2x minus 1, 1 minus 2x, and 2x minus 1. Okay. Now, we want to find out the derivative at critical points. So, critical points over here are 0 and 1. So, if I find out the derivative at 0, so left-hand derivative would be minus one and right hand derivative would be for x equals to zero left hand derivative would be minus one and right hand derivative that would be one right because right hand derivative will be calculating from this one and the left hand derivative will be calculating from this one so from here it will be getting minus one and from here we'll be getting one so definitely non-derivable at x equals to zero now similarly at x equals to one right hand derivative would be calculated from this one that would come out to be one only and for, for this one, at x equals to one, we'll be getting minus one. Again, at x equals to one, the function is non-derivable. So C is the correct answer.